Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and my friend Hunter came over with his Kenny Bell Supercharged S197. You may have seen this car on the channel before. We installed headers, oil pan gasket, motor mounts, and uh, did some other things on it. So I'll put a link to those videos in the description. But he was having a problem with the intercooler pump. And so on the intercooler pump, the front inlet coming from the expansion tank goes right there into the nose of the pump. It gets swirled around and then it gets spit out the side of the pump. So I wanted to make sure that was set up properly. And it was, and we can hear the pump trying. But basically, uh, we looked at the return line coming to the tank. That looked good. But where it was going down from the expansion tank, it was uh, actually making a loop, okay? So these are gravity-fed pumps, and we ended up cutting this whole section of uh, tubing out of here, a radiator hose. So you can see how far down that went before we cut this out. And so that was his problem, is that pump had a real hard time pulling that back up into the, into the pump. But now it's running because uh, it's gravity-fed. It's looking good. So quick fix, uh, something that a lot of people... Uh, have questions about because they can say I hear my pump running but nothing's circulating so uh, that's something to look at uh, especially on these aftermarket kits uh, they give you a lot of tubing and some people just run them however they need to and uh, so if it makes that loop like that that's what you want to get rid of so if you can hear the pump running but the coolant isn't moving you can form a seal around the opening of the tank with your hands and blow and put some pressure on it and sometimes that's enough to push it down into the system and get it moving. Also, you could try putting a plunger over it. That's actually worked in the past, believe it or not. So these intercooler pumps fail about every 40,000 miles or so. Sometimes you can take them apart and knock the soot out of them to give them a little bit of extra life. But uh, anyway, I have videos on how to jump the system to make sure it's running, how to install a new intercooler pump if uh, you need a new one. So I'll put the video links to that in the description as well. And uh, so anyway, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But luckily, this was just an easy fix, and he was on his way. Thanks for watching.